What is up, you beautiful people out there on the internet? It is I, Michael Shockman. Welcome back to the DM Shockman Institute in this week's episode of Middle Earth Explained, where we cover orcs as part of our monstrous uh, section of the races of Middle Earth. Um, buckle up, this is going to be a quick but very intensive video um, covering the three, kind of three, main uh, forms of orcs in Middle Earth and their uh, correlations to other, um, at them being the, the source and thus correlation to three very um, similar fictional monsters in a popular uh, role-playing game that we know and love. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, really quick before we dive into things, two things. One, please be sure to uh, like and subscribe. It helps out immensely with the algorithm on YouTube, so thank you so much. And secondly, uh, please be sure to comment down below with, are you team Goblin? Are you team uh, Orc? Are you, or are you team Urukai? <laughs> Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, with that out of the way, let's dive into the Orcs. <laughs> um, Alright, so, simply put, the Orcs in Tolkien um, were created, I believe, in the First Age. And they were the they were very simply the twisted uh, the first orcs at least were the twisted uh, remnants of elves and the like. Pardon me while I scratch my ankle. <laughs> uh, dry skin, really bad. Uh, they were twisted. Um, <laughs> they were twisted forms of uh, of uh, elves and the like. Uh, that were captured during a battle um, during the First Age, during the War of Wrath, I believe, I believe, um, that were then turned into essentially the minions and basic infantry of the Dark Powers, of Morgoth and later Sauron. Um, what they later became over the millennia that preceded the, or that succeeded the First Age, um, were many different variations, but what, what really boiled down to three basic uh, um, forms. Starting with the smallest, uh, we have the goblins, uh, which were the first offshoot, as far as I know, of the orcs. Um, those being kind of the smaller, more uh, bred for underground tunnel dwelling and whatnot breed that were so easily shown in, uh, for one, in... Um, the Mines of Moria, where they swarmed the Fellowship of the Ring uh, and near, very nearly took them out before the Balrog came in. Hashtag Balrog Rescues. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, you will notice that they are very similar, whether they are the source or they are, and they, I know they're, they're not the result, but what, I'm pretty sure that they're the source of the, as you will see up here, the, or uh, sorry, up here, the D&D &D, uh, Goblin, which is almost a carbon copy of the exact same thing, very similar. Um, but keeping in mind with keeping in line with the D and D uh, correlation with Lord of the Rings, uh, the Lord of the Rings, and this is kind of where I have to break off into a little bit of a tangent. Um, in D and D, uh, keeping in line with that, um, I, the Goblin race needs an explanation. So the Goblin race in D and D is very much a thing of breeds in that the goblins are the youthful version of the of the race, the goblinoid race. Hobgoblins are the adult slash middle-aged version, um, which we'll get to in a moment. And then bugbears are the oldest and biggest version. They never stop growing until they die. Um, it's just a matter of fact that in D&D &D at the very least, most goblins don't live past a certain age, so they don't usually get old enough to grow up and metamorphosize into that next form and much less the form after that um speaking but that kind of brings us to the second form of orcs in uh tolkien's universe that being the orcs proper um which you'll be able to see the links or the uh the screenshots right up here and right up here eventually um where the orcs are basically the standard just they vary in 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 shape and in form and things of that nature but deep down they're just like the the 
the the head they're basically the standard infantry and standard workers of the dark powers here in uh, middle earth um and they're very much they vary as widely as different forms of flowers um the they can be big they can be little they can be small they can be fat they can be large they can be diminutive it really just depends on how they were birthed and what they look like it really depends um and in kind of a bastardization or or kind of parody of that of that chaotic mess that is the orcs of tolkien um in D, &D uh which you'll see up here um sorry up here we have the hobgoblins as the second form of uh of race uh which is kind of the further birthing um of of that and they are unlike the ones in tolkien they are very much the uh the um how best to put it the uh the they are uh, they are order but they are also evil um very much the same way that orcs are very much uh in tolkien are very orderly um after a fashion <laughs> um they are also de demonstrous demonstratively evil um and then last but not least we have the third form of orcs in our uh in our uh tolkien lexicon of orcs that being the uruk -hai, which if we're quoting uh um what's his name uh saruman the white and uh also gandalf the gray uh they are uh orcs bred with goblins and men and that they can run um at very high speeds in daylight um the closest iteration to D, D that i could put for those is the bugbears both in terms of form as well as in function in that uh hobgoblins can do in daylight but they generally like to work at night from what i understand and goblins in DD generally like to work at night as well hence why they uh work so well in tunnels um ideally the tolkien the closest thing to the tolkien uh uh Urukai is the bugbear in DD, in that they're bigger they're stronger they're more in, they're slight they can be slightly more intelligent although that's a little bit different in the D, &D stuff um and they're also made to be heavy infantry in daylight campaigns and daylight raids uh they are big they're brutish and they're they bash like hell um so to summarize uh i do have to say that uh the uh the orc race is very much a uh a a, a race that's created in its origin by the evil powers in by of Morgoth um, to kind of be the genetically altered, as it were, super soldiers and slave labor of the dark powers, and uh, they have a very keen uh, kinship with uh, the orc, and or sorry, the goblin race, the goblinoid race of D and D. In fact, I would have to say that the goblinoid race of D and D is very much. Uh, taken from at least in concept from the orc race in tolkien uh next uh stay thank you so much for joining us uh, joining me uh here in the institute for this episode uh we're gonna kind of go into some more uh light based things where next week uh we cover gods of middle earth so uh this has been uh this week's episode of middle earth explained thank you so much for joining me i'm michael shockman i'm your host i've been your host and commentator Please do me one quick favor before we sign off. Please be sure to uh, follow the links down in the description. You know what they do. You know what you know where they go. You know what to do. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm Michael Shockman. I've been your host and commentator. And remember, as always, guys, keep it real. Keep it safe. Keep it healthy. And we'll see you guys again in the Institute. Bye-bye, guys.